Hello everybody, welcome to Mad Over MATLAB tutorials. This is Tanmay and this is the sixth part of a series of tutorials on MATLAB basics. And in this tutorial, we will learn about graphics in MATLAB, how to plot graphs and how to modify them. So there are two commands with which you can plot graphs in MATLAB. The first one is the easy plot command and the second is the plot command. So let us see the differences between these two. The easy plot command expects a string or a symbolic expression to be plotted. Let us see what this means. So when you have a string input to your easy plot, this is the syntax. It begins with easy plot keyword followed by parenthesis and within it there is the string input and this is followed by the x-axis limits or the limits of the variable which you have used here and when the input is a symbolic expression you have to first define the variable that you are going to use as a symbol so this is the syntax of it sys x which will be followed by easy plot followed by parenthesis and your expression there and the x limits. Now if you observe these two syntaxes you will notice that the first one has the input the string input within quotes single quotes whereas the second syntax does not have the quotes. Next we will move on to the plot command. Now the plot command works on vectors of numeric data. So first we have to provide a vector x which has the x coordinates of the points which you intend to plot and then we have to provide a vector y which has the y coordinates of the points which you have to plot and in the end you have to use the plot keyword followed by parenthesis and within those parenthesis you have to enter the x and y vectors. So let us start with the easy plot function. I will first write the syntax which accepts a string input. So this is the plot that you get. Now let us use the syntax which accepts a symbolic expression as the input. First you need to declare the variable that you are going to use in your easyplot function as a symbol. And now you have to write the syntax. So this is the graph that you get. It is the same as in the previous case. If you want to change the title of this graph, you have to first minimize this window, then type title. and the name that you intend to give to the graph. Now since the graph resembles a parabola, I have named it as parabola and press enter. So as you can see here, the name of the graph has changed to parabola. If you want to rename the axis, for example the x axis or the y axis, you have to type this command. Now you can give any name in these quotes. I have named it as x-axis. See the label has changed. Similarly, you can change the y label by using this command. If you observe this graph, this graph starts from minus 2 and ends at plus 2 on the x-axis and it starts from 0 and ends at 7 on the y-axis. So if you want to change these axis settings or 
the limits of the axis you have to write this command first you have to specify the x limits the lower x limit and the upper x limit followed by the y axis limit and then press enter so now your x axis has changed from minus 1 to plus 1 and your y axis has changed from plus 1 to plus 5 next we will see how to plot a graph using the plot command first we will enter a vector containing the x coordinates of the graph which you intend to plot after this we will enter the vector which has the y coordinates of the graph and finally we will use these two vectors in the plot command so now you have got a graph which has the points formed from the coordinates that you gave in the vectors the first point is 2 comma 1 and the second point is 4 comma 5 and the third point is 6 comma 7 and these points match the coordinates that you gave to the input vectors now if you want to plot a polynomial between a certain interval first you have to make a list of x values that you will give input to your polynomial and then use the plot function let us see how to do it so by doing this you have created a vector starting from minus 3 to plus 3 and every element in the vector is spaced by 0 0.1 from the previous and the next element and you have to use this vector in your plot command So this is the graph that you get it has the x limits between minus 3 and plus 3 and the nature of the graph is similar to the previous graph that we plotted because we have used the same function x square plus x plus 1 it is also possible to plot multiple curves on a single graph let us see how to do this first we will do this using the easy plot command after this you have to use hold on so that you can plot another graph there remember that you have to put a space between hold and on it is not a single command after this you need to enter the second function that you intend to plot on the same graph if you do not intend to plot any more curves you can type this command hold off to give a title to this graph you can type title followed by the name so this is the graph that you get it has an e raised to minus x function exponential function as well as the sine function and the limits of these graphs are 0 and 8 now let us see how to plot these two functions using the plot command if you see the syntax of the plot function here the vector x appears two times which means that it is necessary to mention this x for each function so this is the output the exponential function as well as the sine function within the limits 0 and 8 so that's it for this tutorial please subscribe to our channel mad over matlab and in case you have any doubts or suggestions 
you can always leave them in the comment section below so goodbye and take care